Hey guys, I'm meteorologist Chris Tomer. Let's talk some mountain weather, and we've got uh, four storms. Storm, storm systems lined up through 1215, so it's an active pattern, busy out on the Pacific Ocean. Um, here are my headlines, so we'll track all four of those in this update. Um, storm 2 is trending weaker. It's going to hit the West Coast, but then it's going to wash out as it moves precip or snow into the interior. Though Idaho and uh, B.C., Northwest Montana and Wyoming will probably benefit even though it's washing out at the same time. Storm number three behind it is really the powerhouse. That's the one that will have more cold air and will have a weak atmospheric river contribution between 1210 and 1213, and it's promising big totals for California, big totals for the Wasatch, um, for Wyoming, for Idaho, and for parts of Colorado. Um, and then there's obviously activity behind that through 1215. Um, I just published this. Um, on my, uh, my blog, chrystomer.com. Uh, pattern through 1215. A lot of bullet points to take a look at. Some of the new 24-hour totals. Vale's reporting six. Three at Alta, three Kirkwood, ten at Jackson Hole, another five at Steamboat. And Breck's got a couple, eight at Loveland. Today's a great day, a great powder day at Loveland. I'd love to be up there. Um, I went ahead and looked at the pattern, which essentially it looks like this. It's a busy uh, Pacific with the storm number one very slowly. It's snail's pace moving out of California, but what it's doing is transporting moisture and waves on that jet stream through Utah, Wyoming, and Colorado. And you can see behind it, there are other storm systems lined up. Let's look at the uh, the forecast pattern here. So this is 12-7 tomorrow. Um, the low is finally moving into Utah. And then eventually it's going to slide through parts of Colorado and, and Wyoming and then eventually move out and make room for storm number two, which is right up there, sliding into the Pacific Northwest. You can see it. But that storm will largely, it'll, it'll hit the West Coast, and like I was saying earlier, it will wash out, and there's a bigger storm. You can see the jet streak running behind it right on the heels of that second storm. Um, here is the pattern at 1215. At this point, that low moving through Wyoming is storm four. That's number four. And that would be the last storm in the series, as it looks at this point. And then we're headed for a calmer period with high pressure rebuilding across the West Coast at that point. So it's just starting to rebuild. That's 1215. All right, let me take you into the timing of all of this. So watch the, the forecast timing. There's Wednesday at 6. There's Thursday at 6. There goes finally Storm 1. Here comes Storm 2. It's 6 on Friday. By Saturday, Storm 2 is washed out. Bigger Storm 3 nailing California in the Sierra. And look at all of that snow that Storm 3 is pushing into the interior. Let me hit it again. All right, so there's Wednesday at 6. Thursday at 6. Uh, here comes Friday. And Storm 2 washes out. Here comes 3. Big boy on Saturday with uh, Atmospheric River. Nailing the Sierra, Sunday at 6 by Sunday night. Heavy snow in the Wasatch, heavy snow in Idaho, Wyoming. Heavy snow moving into southwest Colorado. Take a look at my blog if you want to see that animation in full screen or any bigger. Let's go into forecast totals here. All right, so we'll do this in a couple of different phases. Actually, three phases because I want to take you all the way up to 12.15. So here is 12.6 through 12.8. So this is largely capturing the end of, or, or the rest of storm number one. Uh, two to three more inches in the Wasatch and Utah. Uh, Colorado probably is the biggest totals yet to go, um, with western and southwest Colorado getting the most additional snow from Vail, out of Crested Butte, Aspen, Snowmass and into the San Juans over Red Mountain and Wolf Creek. Because of the orientation of the jet, we're really just focusing some orographic precip into those areas in Colorado. And that storm is moving at snail's pace, so it's happening day in and day out, all the way through 12.7 and 12.8. And then that's out of here, and you can already start to see some of the early moisture coming from Storm 2 in the Pacific Northwest and into B.C. and into Schweitzer. So let's just move ahead with that. So this would be... Period number two, 12 9 through 12 12. Now there's a lot to be said about this period. Um, storm two washes out, and here comes storm three. So what you're looking at is largely snow 
from the end of two and all of three. And three is a powerhouse storm as it looks. Colder air, you've got the atmospheric river contribution in California. I mean, look at that. We're talking um, over two feet in that period from Tahoe to Shasta down to Mammoth. And approaching two feet, one to two feet in the Wasatch down to Bryan Head. Um, about a foot up in the Tetons. Look at Sun Valley, Brundage to Schweitzer. Really good in that period. In Colorado, southwest Colorado with that type of flow should do well. Over the San Juans, looking for over a foot during the 9th through the 12th. And keep in mind, we're talking about colder air with this, so you're getting better efficiency in the atmosphere. So that's uh, the second period. Here is the final period. This is 12-13 through 12-15. So there's a four storm that rolls in. You're probably catching the very end of three and all of four in this period. Another one to two feet possible in the Sierra during this period. It, it's, it's remarkable to see. Um, it's wonderful. Uh, and then look at, uh, so you've got another four to five on the way through the Wasatch and a bit more in Idaho. In Colorado, because of the track of that storm, I showed you the pattern on 12. Let me just show it to you one more time. So again, the pattern on 12:15 brings storm four through Wyoming, which would leave most of the accumulation in the central to northern mountains of Colorado, and indeed that's where those numbers are biggest. Um, Grand Targhee Jackson Hole. Um, I don't know why the numbers aren't there, but it's three to five, three to six inches for Grand Targhee and Jackson Hole during that period. So everybody gets some snow out of this. And it's great to see. Um, it's an active period. Four storms again lined up through 12-15, and then after 12-15, things really settle down. All right, guys, thank you for tuning in here. Always appreciate it. Take care.